see how they are side by side. This is the new one. Very basic, I think. Does the job. It's got uh, removable, removable um, knee pads. What do you call these things? Um, yeah. There's nothing in the back. There's no bump on the back. I think it's cool. And then this one is probably a more legitimate racing suit. It's it's a lot softer because it's older. Um, it's got this removable inner layer. Neo are a cheapish brand, so don't hold out too much hope for this. Um, and it's got pads over there also removable, but the knee pads here are removable from the outside where these are from the inside. But uh, yeah, similar. I like them both. I think I'm gonna stick with a new one. Today is my first or my second ride in my new racing suit. Um, I picked it up yesterday and rode it back for about an hour. Um, just to try and wear it in for my track day in a few weeks time. Today I'm going to Port Waikato, which is an hour and a half there, hour and a half back. So three hours in the sun in a suit, hopefully will help me stretch it out a bit. And I'm gonna try my gloves, my Alpine Star gloves that I haven't worn, my gauntlets for a long, long time, because they were always quite uncomfortable. So I'm really all suited out with my track gear. <laughs> today we'll see how it goes i'm meeting up with a couple of guys hopefully maybe one maybe maybe two maybe more um for an early morning ride to waikato and back on a sunday sunday the uh, 20th 20th of march 19th of march 20th i think that's a bit stupid okay off we go uh, uh, suit is tight very tight but at least it's brand new and not like the other one that i had the red one which is a bit uh, old and manky and requires repairs this is brand new feels tight as i do plan to lose a bit of weight <laughs> but it's fine i'll wear into it i'm looking forward to the long ride <laughs> Are you happy with the route? We go all the way down to Bonga Te Ferry, eh? Uh, and then from Bonga Te Ferry to Pocono and then go that way. So we're going... It's a long way around a bit. I, I don't know that way, but... Yeah, follow me. I know, I think I know where we are now. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful sunny day. It's going to be a lovely ride in the country, I think. So uh, I'm, I'm leading at the moment. Probably be leading most of the way because I've got the GPS all done. We're going a strange way. We're going via Mangatafiri in Hunua, so we're going the back roads, which is cool. Avoid the highway. Bit of a longer ride, but uh, that's cool. Beautiful. Hunua's are so much fun, up and down and all over the show. Pretty used to them, but uh, every time I do them, I enjoy them more than I realise I will. Oh, there's some nice horses. Hello, horses. Yeah through Hanua and coming down out of Hanua village towards the falls and approaching my uh, old stomping ground Ararimu which will be up on the right in a few k's and also the place where Simon flung his back off the road GoPro died, <sighs> as it does, but anyway, plug the battery back in. And 
and we are on our way. Had a nice cup of coffee. Saw an amazing video from Mike. His wife Jo had an accident during her restricted and still passed. A truck reversed into her and she jumped off the bike. Incredible. So I might uh, see if I can find a link to that. Waikato River, I'm assuming. She's pretty loud, this bike. Anyway. While we're riding home, I thought I would just talk about my racing suit that I'm wearing. So, the reason for riding today was to put it through its paces, like I said earlier. Um, I got it yesterday, and I lost all my footage from yesterday because the audio wasn't working, so I've had to replace the, um, the earphones, as I mentioned. Um, anyway, just some rationale. Um, I've got a track day training session coming up in a few weeks. It's not a racing day, it's a training day. So you have an instructor, and I think there's groups of five, and you go around the track and you learn about um, the track and the skills that you need, and you seem to become a safer rider by learning about your bike and the margins. So I'm looking forward to that, but obviously you need to be kitted out correctly. They, they seem to imply you can wear, as long as you've got gear, um, you don't need leather, you don't need one piece, you know. Um, but I thought I'd rather just be safe, rather get the stuff that I need. Um, so I bought one off Trade Me for like 300 bucks, 280 bucks, um, a red one, old one. Uh, and uh, it looked pretty good. It's obviously had a slide, so there's a bit of scuffing. Um, and uh, yeah, it just whilst the outside was good, the inside wasn't. Um, so I'm going to try and flick it on again to somebody else um, and repair it. But the, uh, the inside of all the gauze and the interior um, really has holes and where people have, um, people have basically pulled the armor in and out. It's got an interior lining that's completely removable. So I'll get it, I'll fix it. It's also got a zip that's broken on the arm, so I'm gonna have to fix that as well. Anyway, I just uh, I just felt it was a bit banky and I actually regretted buying it, so I just thought I'd just go and buy a new one. Um, but what's the cheapest new one I can find? So there's this place in Waiuku called um, Lifestyle Imports or something. Uh, I've been to Waiuku many times and I've had breakfast like almost next door to the place but I've never noticed it's there before so <laughs> so I went there and it's lovely it's a, it's a bike clothing shop they got heaps of stuff that they import themselves and have made for themselves um, and they've got really really cheap suits um, which I wanted to go and see the quality of and honestly the quality is great the quality is thick leather it feels just as well belt built as the, um, the red one that I bought um, it doesn't have a separate liner, it's got an integrated liner, so there's less chance of the liner breaking. So, um, yeah, so I decided to get it. Uh, it's only like 650 bucks, so cheap as far as racing suits go. And honestly, I just, you know, I'm not going to be going to the track every day. So it's for occasional use. So I'm just breaking it in. And here we are. Um, anyway, so, yeah. Let's see how it goes. I, uh, uh, they've got some lovely stuff there, so I just wanted to talk about that. I might go back for more gear. Um, they have it made for themselves, so they've got their own stuff that comes in. They've been around for a while looks really good quality they've got a lovely quality um, flannel shirt in grey and black checks which is so much better quality than the Oxford that I bought um, I don't like my Oxford I'm gonna get rid of it um, this is lovely and thick and solid it's full of Kevlar um, so I must go back and have a look at that they've got some lovely jeans as well you know I like my resurgence jeans they're very nice but uh, I've had them for a while now and they're a bit bulky um, 
and I'm keen on getting something black, but I don't feel like spending 300 bucks uh, uh, for the resurgence jeans, so I'm going to go and see what they've got. Anyway, it's just a shout out to them, this big gear looks good, looks uh, not, not cheap, looks like it's good value, um, so uh, yeah, and they will post and send whatever you want, so um, I'm going to make that a regular place to go and snoop around and have a look at the gear that they've got, some nice stuff. That's what you call tiptoeing, to stay on the bike, pretty cool. <laughs> you you tiptoe <laughs> you're tiptoeing I know it's so short <laughs> it's cool you're brave <laughs> yep yep up Flatbush making our way home through Whitford and uh, off to Beachlands. They both live in Beachlands too, Mike and Joe. So um, we'll be following them all the way home. Wow, my hands.